so pinda mzala sifu semini so kichi misika of African experts staying there, but they're just trying to make it, then they're going to move out and there'll be another group. So I don't think the people living in the space are not as excited as I was mm -hmm. when I lived in the space. It's different uh, to them, but I'm sure it's exciting for them. You know? okay. So what do you think about Joburg, like currently how it is as um, opposed to when it was in upper date? I mean, it does feel a bit neglected by the government. Uh, it's, it's not safe, you know? You can't just be out at one, two in the streets. What is your take on that? And I mean, I don't know if the, the times you were still there, it was still safer. No. Uh, I mean, back when I was there, if you walked at night, you know, if you bumped into some white guys, they would beat you to a pulp. So you were always scared of actually getting beaten up for no reason. I remember mm -hmm. once walking down uh, across Hillbrow. was back then. It had coffee shops. It had... You know, it was a white suburb with, uh, 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 with buildings going up. But I'm walking down from work, and this guy, white guy, literally stands up from the balcony of this restaurant and pisses at mm. me. Like, takes out. I, you don't expect to see that. And yeah. I look up, and this guy's pissing in my face. You understand? Shit. So, I mean, that, that the, that's the kind of life that you could come up to. So, is it safer? Mm, I, I don't know if it's safer or not, but it's a big city. Big cities are generally not that safe. Mm -hmm. um, well, of course, you can walk around Paris at 3 a.m. The likelihood of you getting something bad happen to you is less so than here. I get that. Uh, maybe if you are in the ring away, you know, they, they have the iron ring in Cape Town yes. where they've literally made sure that you guys and gooks and everybody yeah, outside, oh, yeah. you can kill each other there, but in the ring, women can walk uh, at night at 3 a.m. and nothing will happen because, you know, there's cameras, they've made sure it's safe. Is it a government issue? Joburg started getting the highest number of potholes, worst working uh, 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 traffic lights, I'm a robot. When the DA took over with Mashaba, that's when mm -hmm. everything went funny. Why? Because politicians are always busy with using their power to, uh, to, to empower their own people financially. Mm -hmm. So when South Africa was downgraded in terms of economic status. I remember Joburg was upgraded because Pax was doing an incredible job as the city mayor, okay? And then the DA took over. What did they do? Try to move contracts away from people who are doing what they're doing because they're not their friends, mm. you know? And then suddenly you've got potholes everywhere. You've got street lights not working. You've got, uh, 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 you've got um, uh, 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 speed cameras not working. Why? Because even though it's working, it's not my body doing it. Yeah. So Joburg went into a, a rubbish dump area close to dump because of when Mashaba and the DA took over. Mm -hmm. Now we're trying to clean it back up, you know? Yes. And as, a, as you being in, I mean, you, uh, ac your activism in the industry is well documented. Um, uh, do you think like the advertising industry has transformed? From the people that I, I know, I know some, I've got some friends in very high places. Uh, MD level in uh, in advertising. No, it hasn't. Mm. It's probably one of the most racist industries in this country. And it's masquerades as pretty cool because the whites who run it do a lot of cocaine and, you know, they wear jeans. and But it's it's just a racist industry. I don't think it's changed at all. Mm. Uh, can you tell us about Rapid Line? Like, uh, um, I mean, I do understand why the need, you needed to start it uh, in terms of with the big ones, you know, your movie uh, s uh, shops, the ones that are currently everywhere. Do you think that w your aim, the aim that you, you guys had starting it is, is manifesting? Is it bearing fruits um, in this current space that we're in? Look, RapidLearn was lucky to literally survive uh, COVID, if you like, because it's supposed to be an event-based thing where you need people in. But we're lucky to be in the month just before the hard lockdown. Mm. And when they, rele they sort of uh, 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 relaxed the lockdown rules, uh, we were in that space so we could happen again. And then 2022 came, which is post-lockdown, and it didn't happen because we couldn't get any funding anywhere. So the difficulty with Rapid Lion, uh, like most things like it, which is the same as the Oscars, by the way, which mm. is the same as Cannes in, in, in France, is that in Africa and in South Africa, there is no understanding of the value of that thing. Mm. 
uh, for the country. Yes. The, the, the Oscars will never not have funding. Do you know how much it costs to launch the Oscars? It's over $45 million. Okay. Mm. Multiply that by 10, you're looking at 400 million rand. Multiplied by now, by 15, you look at over 600 million rand that the industry puts back in in order to promote itself. Mm. South Africa hasn't got a film industry. We don't have enough movies that are making enough money for an industry that can support something like that. So all of us who are in that space of promoting cinema are looking to be helped by the government. Mm -hmm. That's how Rapid Lounge has uh, survived. The NFF putting in something, the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture putting in something, but we've never had a single uh, uh, commercial sponsor. Why? Because... Um, yes, I mean, the South African uh, 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 economic world is 95% white. Uh, I'm a black guy trying to push uh, South African cinema. So that's not going to happen this week. We've tried, we've talked to all of these people, but we're not. Maybe if I partnered with a Jewish guy, partnered with an Afrikaans guy, partnered with an English guy, maybe in that time this thing will jump uh, and become something else. Uh, I don't know. But we're not getting... Everywhere we go for commercial sponsorship, uh, either we don't know how to approach them or the project is not good enough for them. But seven years of existence, mm. we haven't got one commercial uh, sponsor, which makes it hard for it to move. What is Rapid Land? Well, it's the only film festival in the country that literally concentrates on promoting South African cinema, South African directors, producers, and South African actors. It's, it's, it, it's never com, go, 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 confused with television. It's not confused with music. It's dealing specifically with cinema and, uh, and, 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 and local. Uh, so we look at it as we want it the highest amount of films that screen that we always pray, pray that they are South African. Mm. There are not enough of them. So we... We have the highest number of locally made films. The premieres happen at Rapid Lion. So, you know, in order to try and promote them, we, we, have, we are the first festival in the world to have a BRICS component because we want the South African cinemas to compete internationally. So they compete against Russian, Indian, Brazilian, and Chinese films. So Rapid Lion is the only, you know, festival in the country that will show you those kind of uh, see, uh, films. Mm. It's the only festival in the world that annually happens and gives you a BRICS component. But we also have an African diaspora se se uh, segment, meaning if you are an African uh, who happens to be born in France, you can enter your film. Mm. If you happen to be an African in Barbados, you can, as long as you have African descent, you can come in. That's and great. African African countries, all of them qualify. That's and great. then you have uh, BRICS as well. Yeah. Um, I, I was listening to you. I know... Uh, you're very big on archiving, and it's something we struggle a lot uh, in South Africa, What even on YouTube. I mean, I just tried to watch a Lebu Matosa um, music video, Boom Shaka, the free, you can't find the quality that was on TV. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what's this? Because you can find a hip-hop track from old school still on YouTube, the quality it is. And as you spoke about, like, those snippets, you know, when you're shooting behind the scenes, these are stuff... We don't have where are these stuff and um, how can we as a collective like make it our mission to actually uh, let people know the importance of archiving? I mean, uh, it, it should start with an individual who's creating content. You should love your content enough to preserve it, to archive it properly. I mean, I was looking at, 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 at uh, in my place the other day and I realized I've got ads that I did when I was in the advertising space, a short film that I shot, it's all still in beta, some in VHS. I haven't gotten around to basically digitizing it so that I can, so the work that's involved in digitizing it and then putting it on the net, something, something in my black brain sort of takes a while to get to, mm, to which is a bit dumb if yeah, you think about it. Because we live in a, in a very digital space yes, right now. and it's dumb not to do it because not only is it good as a, as a thing that future generations can look at, it's something that can be commercially viable for me if somebody looks at it and wants to use it. So it starts with the individual. If you are creating content, you should look at how you archive it in such a way that it can be looked at Far into the future, and it's much cheaper now, mm. by the way, because it's digital and it can be done on the net. You can yes. put it on the cloud, you can do links to put it down. You know, 
I'm an old school guy. Maybe this thing came a bit later. Yeah. But if you are doing this thing now, like for your podcast not to be around 40 years from now, that's, you know, you being really dumb. Yeah, because... Because yeah. it's almost immediately archived now. Once you put it on YouTube now and you put it properly, it should be accessible mm. for the longest time. That's archiving. Uh, in the past, it used to be much more complicated. You needed big reels to shoot stuff. It was, you know... So a lot of African stuff was preserved abroad. So the BBC has a huge part of South African and African history. Uh, stuff that you have to pay them to get to your own film about your own people. You know, mm. when we did a, a documentary called Mining for Change, you couldn't believe the place where we had to go. I mean, I wanted to use Stimela, but I used song. I called him directly. He was a, a Khrutmani and a friend. Mm. And he said, well, you know, you have to call America mm. because that's who had the rights to that song. It's his song, that's but that's crazy. who had the rights to the song because that's who published it, you yes. understand? And it's not that... Crazy if you consider that all of Michael Jackson's songs belong to a publishing house and it's not his. Mm. So are the Beatles. So it's normal in the music yeah, business. <laughs> but, but, but I couldn't get it because the guys who did it were American. That's where you went. That's where Brian you went. That's mm. where he made his music. That's where he made over $40 million. Let's be clear. He made a good money from his music. But he, Africa doesn't own that. Mm. So at the time, we couldn't afford. It was cheaper for me to hire Slilo Silota to actually do a, 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 an original soundtrack for the for the for the for the film mm. of, of course it turned out pretty good I'm, i mean i'm very happy with what we did but it was cheaper to do that than to actually get the rights to steam yes. one of the most iconic south african uh, uh, iconic songs done by a south african yes um just um can you how how did uh, you how did molo fish happen like uh, how did how were you approached how did that whole Molo Fish was an incredible project in that it was the first time, I think, that uh, I was fully affirmed as an actor. Uh, Clarence Hamilton uh, quite a, was the writer. Um, I'm try and, and, uh, of the, so it was, it had, I, I was an actor. And as an actor, you come in very late into the game. Somebody writes a piece. Somebody mm. uh, gets the money to make it happen. All of that happens. Yeah. And then you rock up and they decide late who should act. Often mm. they, they audition a number of people and choose one. Uh, but for me, it was an incredibly affirming process because they said, we have seen your work and we love what you do. We think you'll be great in this role. And here's your money. It wasn't like you're going to do 100,000 rand a call and then they'll try and make them as quick as possible. They said, here's so much money. Are you happy with it? And whatever length of time it takes for us to shoot, that's what you're going to be paid. And I think at the time it was something like 250,000 rand for Too that much. role, which was a good amount of money. And yeah. then I come today and somebody comes to me and says, do you want to do a role on Netflix for 4,000 rand? A call. I'm like, dude, like, yeah, you did are you crazy? Like so, like, yes, like, so many years back, and you're gonna come to, and they are doing that with young kids and saying, fly yourself to Joburg from Cape Town, find a place to stay, and we'll pay you 750 rand a so call. So do you still get paid for Molofish? No, at, at the time I'm supposed to be because for Molofish there is a clause that says if it gets played somewhere else, so if it's I on should Netflix get royalties in the future or wherever it is, it should be. In fact, unfortunately. The SABC is sort of working by international standards, which are if we play it, we find you and send you a check. They say, I must find out where they played it. And then I must, must go, go to them, them and, and say, I saw it here. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. impossible for me to do that. So I'm supposed to get money. I mean, I'm, I was walking in a park, Vesta Park, in, 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 in Holland, mm. Amsterdam. And a guy says, sorry, so I see a guy, you know, I walk past, he says, sorry. I turn around, I don't know the guy. Like, Black guy, you know, mm. and he and he says, um, I, are you in Molo Fish? I'm like, what? He says, Yeah, I saw it in the um from the DRC, and it was such an amazing show. So a guy in the Department of you know, in the Democratic DRC, Republic yeah. of the Congo, they just screened it there. And As, how are you gonna know if it's being screened there? My, if I didn't bump into this guy, I did bump into him, but the the rigmarole of getting to this find place, out which channel no. is playing it, and yeah, no, that's that is so. Crazy. It's, as a musician, if they play your music, Samro gets you your money. Yeah, that's how it should be in television. That's how it is in television all over the world. Not so in South Africa. An apartheid built 
uh, SABC that hasn't transformed mm. into working normally. You know? How was how was uh, how was uh, handling the viewers on uh, seven o two? Because that's a very it's a very touch and go situation. How did you handle that? No, I, I mean I wasn't. I was on seven o two. I think I did a consistent uh, uh, presentation of a show there. It was because really was away yes. for a week. Yes. And um, yeah, I mean, so it I, wasn't much. It wasn't that long. <laughs> but having said that, uh, radio is is all about complete honesty, number one. Number two, it needs you to be, you can't be that dumb to do radio proper. Mm. And if you have those two qualities, meaning you, okay, let's let's take a few. One, you must be empathic, empathic meaning you must love your listeners, yeah, which, whoever they are. And you must love the people who come to be interviewed by you, whoever they are. And, uh, and you must listen. It's very important to listen when you're doing radio, more so than to talk. A, a, the greatest talk show hosts, you'll find they speak the least on, uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a good... Uh, um, so I, I happen to, to, to be somewhat gifted in that area, you know? Um, and I got some decent training uh, when I first started uh, by an Australian guy at SABC when I did a, a, a show there, uh, uh, Eric M. Live uh, on, on, on SAFM. And I listened. And, and for a long time, my idol in this area was a guy called Larry King. Yeah, Larry King. Now, I, I grew up with The late Larry King, Larry. amazing. Now, Larry King, if you want to know, that's where I realized what it takes to do it. And he said, a guy called David Ogilvy, Ogilvy yes. had written a book called Confessions of an Edman. It's probably the Bible of advertising. If you're ever going to be in advertising, you have to read, read yeah, I'm in the Confessions. Industry. Read Confessions of an, of, of an Edman by David Ogilvy. So he says, when he, the book got published, he got sent in this graveyard shift. Some radio station at night from 1 a.m., whatever it is, he arrives, and there's a young guy called Larry King. And he realizes for the first time that this guy hasn't even read the book. So he's like, what are we going to talk about? This guy hasn't even read my book. He says, three hours later, I had the most exciting interview about my book than anywhere else. So he asked Larry King, he said, how did you do it? Like, and Larry King said, well, two things. I'm curious and I love people. That's all I need, you know? <laughs> um, and I'll, I never forgot that. So, mm. so it doesn't matter whether you put me on 702 or SAFM or, or whatever. Why, I'm telling you, you will get a lot of listeners and they'll come in. Yeah. They put me on, on Power FM for a week to test. And they oh, said to it. me, in Power FM, if you can have 50-50 balance split between male and females, when you come on, because males end up with males and females end up with females. I did it in four days. Mm. In four days, it was 49% women, 51% men, or the other way around. Mm. I'm good. I'm very good at radio. It's, That's dope. It's just that it. it's a pity that uh, South Africa, we know it's SABC. Yes. It's, there's no appreciation there's for politics in for stuff involved. like that. And, and, and so, but yeah, I'm, I'm very good at that. We appreciate it. So uh, what do you think of the current politics of today in South Africa? We're going to 2024. If you can just give me with a little with the little time that we have left. Yeah, what is what what's your take on, on the political climate right now leading up to 24 with Abdullah Ab out there with Obontla with EFF, ANC, and Ramaphosa in his sticky situations and everything? I I I it's I, I'm sad to say that I think uh Cyril was a mistake. Uh, in the sense that uh, our biggest and most important uh, struggle now is the economic freedom of our people. Mm. It is. And that doesn't mean you take away from white people, but it does mean you don't give them more, mm. you know, which is what Cyril is doing, in my opinion. He's trying to take from the poor and give to pe people, white people who have everything. I can guarantee you now, if we allow Cyril to privatize ESCO, which means it'll go to white people with a front looking like white black people. It'll be like SAA. SAA is an over 100 year old airline mm. that was in the top five of the best airlines in the world. Okay? He sold it for three billion rand mm. to white people. I don't care how black the setup it's supposed to be, it's not. If we allow this man to carry on doing this, we will make our children starve. I'm telling you now, Britain 
privatized electricity. To this day, they are regretting it. They privatized public transport. To this day, they pay their highest train fares in all of Europe because it was privatized. Mm. Okay? The French make more money out of British citizens by running their electricity. And their electricity in France is nationalized and they pay cheap electricity. Mm. Cyril is wrong for this place. He should go, in my opinion. I don't know if he knows what he's doing, but what he's doing is very bad for us. And once he privatized that ESCOM, now the power that poor people need to study, you know, to cook food, okay, they won't be able to afford it. Mm. They won't. It's a matter of time. And everybody will be, and we, we haven't even gotten to a place where we can say our unemployment is over 38%. That's worse than in wartime in England. Yeah. And yeah, he's doing terrible. nothing for that. He's just trying to take more from poor people and give it to white people who have most of the wealth in this country. And I think that's very sad. And I don't think it's an ANC problem. It's a Cyril Ramaphosa problem because he himself went to the uh, Zondo Commission and said it was not a billion rand that got him in power. It was 400 million. The ANC has never spent more than 150 million to promote itself. Who gave him 400 million? Because I know it's not black people. Mm. And now he has to pay them back and we have to lose. It's not cool. That's how I see it now. When he got in power, I literally stopped going, watching, (laughs) you know, news and all of this stuff. Yeah. Thank you for the jewels, um, Shagaz. We appreciate it. Um, Can you just um, let us know what anything you'll be doing that people could find interest that they need to pay attention to? Um, anything you, you have? Well, up- Rapid Lion is happening from the 4th to the 11th of March in 2023. It'll happening at UJ. We're linking up with the University of Johannesburg, which is very exciting for us. Yeah. We'll be at the APK uh, Arts Center uh, in UJ. Yes. Um, so look out for that. Posters will be going out very soon. So, But that's for the 4th to the 11th of Next March. Year. So if you want to see Chinese films, Brazilian films, uh, you know, South African films. Um, yeah, some great documentaries. Uh, so that's the next uh, massive thing. Over COVID, of course, I wrote an entire collection of poetry. So that's going to be, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I think it's ready to go to publishers now. Amazing. So I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be talking about that in time. Yeah. Amazing. Guys, we had Khrutman, you know, and I mean, the time is limited, but I like it. Nice, short and sweet, giving us the jewels amongst the hip hop, the the, the MCs that are out here today. So we appreciate it, Khrutman. And I mean, we're still going to have you here because I mean, you, you are a library and, uh, yeah, we're going to definitely engage more. This is just the beginning of, of what, what, what I'm trying to start, what I've started, actually. Yes. So thank you for, for blessing me and coming through to the show. I appreciate it very much. It's been a major pleasure. Thank course, you for having course. me. What's up? Yo, it's Loazi the MC, United Master Ceremonies. You know, we out here. It's off the hook, off the heezy. You know, PT8 is in the building. You know, Cap City. You know how it is. Yo, Jamison, holla at me though, you know, do the right thing, you know what I mean? Hennessy, you know how to do. That's that's what I'm already here with you, so don't play, you know. We got Envy in the house. What's good, what's good, what's good? Yeah. Ah yeah. uh, man, I'm I'm just hearing right now, man, you just got caught in, in, in the midst of the, the traffics. Yeah, man, damn man. Yo, it's, we it's not a bad accident, but you know, it's it's an accident. It kinda delayed my my uh arrival here. No, 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 no. That's cool. So, um, like today, getting up, like, um, um, what's the first thing you did? I woke up, uh, took the car to the car wash um, because I was preparing to come here. Mm. Um, I hit the mall to just get a T-shirt and that's dope. It's me. And uh, what were you playing coming here on your way here? I was playing what's that game joint with Anderson Pack? Stainless. Yeah, I was, I was, I was on that stuff. I was, I, it was on repeat. Yeah, yeah, time. yeah. Yeah, that's litty. That's litty. Um, what do you have? A, what What are you currently working on right now? Um, I usually keep quiet with what I'm doing because I usually like surprise drops. But um, I'll give you, I'll give you like a little intel. Mm. So I've been cooking uh, the sophomore for for peanut butter, um, and also working on another EP. Mm-hmm. At the same time, so um, I finished the EP. Um, it's just a matter of clearing the samples, and um, the album is also like what eighty percent done. 
So, yeah, I think that's what I've been that's what I've been cooking lately. As you've been working yeah, on. Yeah. Um, so, how did you and Anvils like? How was that formed? Well, Anvils was formed um, two thousand and six um, by myself and Mike Beth. So we we basically well, I was in boarding school at the time, and. I remember just hearing the name Mike Beth, Mike Beth, Mike Beth in Pretoria, you know? Mm -hmm. And when I landed this side back from boarding school, I made it a point that I link up with this guy. When you say this side, where were you? I was in, I was in Limpopo. Okay. Yeah, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Gauteng based guy. Uh, just, I was sent to boarding school that side. So I could hear the murmurs that were happening around the Joburg city, I mean, the Joburg circles, the Pretoria circles in terms of hip hop. And Mike Beth was the one name that I kept hearing. So when I got back this side, um, I looked for him, found him. We spoke. It happens that the you know the energy was was parallel, and we we just kicked it off from there. We made one song, and we decided to make a click until he left the group and Black Les joined. Mm. Um, yeah. So Black Les was always around the whole situation anyway, but he wasn't like formally a member. But he we would work with him on songs right. and do it soon now. So when Max left which is Mike Beth, uh, when he left, it was easy to sort of like transition Black Les in because he already knew the ropes right. and how to um, get around the whole thing. You know? oh, that's yeah. fair. Um, how did you come up with your, with your alias? Uh, how did that come about? Oh, there we go. Snap, was it that bad? Uh, you're just a bit of mine. I'll oh, increase okay. it on, on post-production. All right, cool. Sorry, what was the question again? It was like, how did you come up with your alias? The alias, uh, it was high school, man. Uh, you know, we used to look for like intricate names in the, the dictionary, you know? Yeah. And um, I ran into the name Enve. But and it's that's like a standard, right? Yeah, like, like you look for like the intricate, yeah. Like, like I need something, yeah, these like niggas can't can, find. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and I ran into the name Enve, but it, it, it was pronounced, you know, spelled I-N instead Ooh. of just the N. So I killed the I. And kept the N, and it's actually an English word. It's a proper. Yeah, yeah it's a I proper thought English it's word. like I thought before. It's envy. No, envy. I know this sort yeah, of child. Yeah, 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 like yeah, all yeah. my like uh, when we drink, I'm like, oh, that's. I thought that's the, how you played around with the thing, but because uh, I like niggas no, no, envy a lot of my people, style. A lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of people get it confused. They think it's envy, not it's envy. Alright, yeah. I see, I see. And um, how did like your relationship with music begin? Yo, man. The stories, are, the stories vary so much because, you know, when I hear a different story from my dad and I hear a different story from my mom, you know, they told me, like, when I was a kid, I used to, like, really jam to that Chico stuff, you know. Oh, um, my Nelu. Yeah, yeah, apparently <laughs> I was, like, huge on that stuff when I was a kid. So, um, and also my grandfather used to be a singer for yeah. an old school soul group, you know, back uh -huh. in Pretoria. So I think the music thing was within the family. I just caught the bug as well. Mm. But yeah, um, it, it became intense when um, I was, I think I was doing grade six. Yeah, I was doing grade six and we had to do like talent shows at school and stuff. People could act, people, people could do whatever. Mm. I literally chose rap, you know, and I've never looked back since. That's fresh, that's yeah. fresh. Uh, how is the, um, the, 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 the PTA scene right now? Um, do you think like it's showing potential in terms? Is it bubbling really hard, or the young ones coming up, or the cats that were doing it before set and established, showing the younger kids the ropes? Mm -hmm. Is it is is the system working right now? Look, the the scene is quite vibrant right now. You know, um, I mean, you can see from all the youngings that are coming out the city, from your Reeses to your Tyson Sabatelli to your Twenty Five K Tato Soul. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm been, hearing the yeah, PTA sound yeah, in the know. in the streets. Yeah, you know, but I'm happy because you know it took a while for this kind of thing to happen. I think the city had for a long time dependent on certain individuals, mm. and we were always worried that you know we can't be ten years deep in the game and they still saying black lives, they say invaders, yeah. they oh, you know, where's everybody else? You know, mm. and I'm so glad that these guys you know, grabbed the bull by the horns and they said, you know what, we we taking from what these niggas were doing and we moving with it. And they doing very well, man. I'm so happy with the with the sound even, the way they rap in the cadence, you know, they they they, they soapy thought of these boys, it's crazy. Like Yeah, spend, I mean, because before spend, yeah. that sound wasn't like, oh, oh, 4K, you, you weren't hearing like 
the Pitori slang. Uh, yeah, in, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? So yeah. it's actually good that we actually uh, infusing and the cats are feeling free to actually be facts, yeah, like directly facts. from their hood yeah, and not facts. sound Joburg or, you yeah. know, because some cat will want to sound like so weird, so weird to, like, nigga, nah, you're yeah, not from yeah, Sotra, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, do what yeah, you do, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But I think it's, 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 it's you know, the paradigm uh, has shifted a bit. Like, um, I'm seeing even some of the commercials on TV now. It's like Pitori Lingo, you know. Yes. Like, and it's it's more, yeah, you know, it's been coming, it's been coming, it's been coming, it's been coming. But I'm so happy that the boys are embracing it more than we did at that point in time. That's a beautiful you know? thing. Um, they're doing it so well. And I'm just happy that they're doing that, man. Yeah, you know? yeah. There has to be something distinct. It says you from Pitori. And, yeah, and most deaf. Because that. that's the capital city. Definitely. If you don't know, now you know. Um, <laughs> since you mentioned A. Reese, Kid and Tini or A. Reese? I don't pick. I like both of them. <laughs> nah, I, I understand. I, like I wouldn't. You, yeah. you mean in any situation you wouldn't pick? No, I wouldn't pick them. I like both no, of them. No, I'm, I've I'm worked, not. I've worked, I've worked with Tini, and I know he's, he's work pro. I mean, he's, he's, he's work ethic. And he's a hard grinding kid, you know. And I've never had the opportunity to work with Reese, but from just yeah. what, see, him, what I see and doing. what I'm seeing, what he's doing, I, I, I really commend him for that, you know. Um, I mean, I, it's with the picking, I mean, as you mentioned, and I yeah. understand, I think I gave you a hard one, like in PTA, PTA, you're going to be like, these are my, these, yeah, these, these are. <laughs> well, I could be biased on, on multiple levels, but, you know, because they both homeboys, man, you know, I, I, I wish them all the best. I want them to do better for the city. I want them to both embrace the city and represent it properly. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. So while you earn that, then they're not picking. I just want to get you on this one. I think with my last one on this, Paco Biggie. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The adverts are curling, baby. I'm so You're sorry about that. I'm so sorry. You Take said Paco change. Biggie? Yeah. Um, I choose, uh, I think for different occasions, I'll pick somebody differently. Like, I think Pac, when I listen to Pac, it's when I feel down, man. And I feel like, snap, I need, I need to, you know, get myself up, you know? Mm. And when I listen to Big, um, it's like I'm just... It's for the flair, man. It's just for the comfort, just for the coolness. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So I've got occasions for both, but Park was more influential. Biggie was a better rapper. Yeah. You, you, well, uh, let, me, let me not have an opinion. No, but I'm, I'm just saying. Let me not have Park, an opinion Park, on Park, that. Park was, Park was more influential. Uh, Big was the better rapper. I, I don't, I was just, because I was listening. No, no, to, tell I, me. I'm, I was I'm, listening, I'm keen, yo, I'm keen to I was listening to Hit Him Up, right? And yeah. I'm like, just yesterday, and I'm like, the homie, like, you know, to make a diss track that is so, there's no, it's flawless. Like, yeah. the homie, every bar, like, flawless, you know, the flow. And I'm like, nah, dog, Pac is miles away. No, but you he's an I mean? icon. That's why I'm saying that he was more influential. For me, he didn't have the technique that Big did. Yeah. yeah. Big yeah, could know, do entendres. Yes. He could, you know, do gymnastics with the... With the, with the bars. You know, yeah, Pac kept it thorough. He kept it straight line and he told yeah. you straight up. But Big was a bit more, he was a bit more colorful with it. Yeah. You know, yeah, Big was a bit more colorful. So that's why I'm saying that I think Big had more in his ammo Word. than Pac. But it's just that Pac with his ammo, he was Word. more influential. He was, you know, he was Word. more potent. Yo, I made a doo-doo like, how could I do that, man? I got some intel. Like, I went in deep. I spoke to Beethoven. I had some roach ink. A question, but a dope one, and it's lost. It's gone. Like I made the error of not writing it down, but that's Snap. cool. That's cool. Hide it, hide it. Bit. I mean, I hit you on that, but I lost that question, man. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, it's dope. So, uh, what what's your what's your take on 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 hip hop right now? I um, mean, you can see there's there's a, there's a diss track out, you know, and cats are saying hip hop is coming back. Hip, they're bringing hip hop back. And we like, where was it gone? You know, so what's your take on, on, on that right now? I'm, I'm off the notion that hip hop has always been here. You know, um, it's, a, it's, it's a tricky thing for me because I think most of the people that regard it as dead or it's coming back aren't people who are really authentic hip hop lovers. Because mm. if you were authentic, you'd know that there's projects that have dropped, there's people who've, you know, release videos, music, more and more and more. You know, you have to go search for the music. Yeah. Yes, it's may, it may not be documented as much mainstream right now. Commercial. But mm. yeah, but um, I think if you're looking for rap music, it's always been there, you know. I don't think there's a resurgence, uh, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> no, like yeah. for some of us, it's like, yo, but it's, it's been, it's, we, been, yo, we've it's been, every yeah, day, you know, know what I mean? Yeah. Shit. So, um, 
Yeah, man. And in, in terms of the diss tracks, I think that's a sport. You know, uh, uh, hip hop is a coliseum of gladiators. Yeah. You know, we gotta fight sometimes. You know. Yeah. And I know. I know we can't be all kumbaya. Yeah. You know, like hey, we're friends. Hey. No, you know, it's a competitive sport. So if dudes wanna play around, let them it's do lovely it. for know, the sport. As long sport. as it's clean. Yeah. And you know, it doesn't get to any violence or anything. I'm good with it. Yeah. yeah no, I'm that's good. good. Yeah. And how is how is it like uh, becoming a, a hip hop father? You know, when you're a father. And in hip hop, because you know when you like still young and you like rapping, and because there's a lot in your kid, the influences. How is that? How's the, how's parenthood as an MC? Your perspective changes on a lot of things as well. Your movements change as well because you know you have to be responsible. This is this is this is a point in your life where you're trying to create, um, make an example. Uh, a proud example to to your offspring, you know. So you mm. you gotta move differently. I I try and limit even how I you know rap about certain things that I used to do back then. I'm trying to like move away slightly from that because mm. um, at this point in time, I don't want that to be what's played in my household and my son grabs on that. And he is a dear. Do you know what I mean? So I gotta be I gotta be a bit more careful with my content, but. You know, I still have my moments where you know we can rap and we do whatever. But I think majority of the of the music is is a bit well thought of right now. Mm. Guess, yeah, that's my son right there. Oh, Wu Tang in the oh, building. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> that's my boy man. right that's there. A cute man. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so hey, as a, I'm only like thinking about it now. Like, how was your how? Because you were just in an accident right now. Well, it was a light one, but yeah. I know that you've been in an, in two accidents. Yeah, back uh, to back. Back to back. Like, how was that for you to still have the confidence and still be standing and being able to do what you're doing? It's It's been tough, man. I won't lie to you. Um, I think at that point in time when these things happened, you know, you start questioning a lot of things. You start questioning yourself as well. You know, you start mm. questioning God at some point, you know. Um like, yo, how can these things happen to me? I mean, I had, the first accident was in 2009. I totaled my car, which was on the 1st of November. The following accident was in 20, 2010 on the 6th of November. So it was the same month, mm. the same week. So it was weird. Were you, know? you still in pain from the other one? And I had, well, not really in pain, but mental scars were still there. So when I experienced that one, it was just like, but how are these things happening in concurrent years and... The same month, same week, you know, it was it was weird. Got me a bit shook of driving around November, but I, I overcame mm. that. But um, it took a lot out of me, man, to 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 actually get back and write. I was depressed for a while. Mm. Um, stopped and how did music. you come out of that the depression? I think the you know just being with the boys, man, seeing them do what they do best. P. Dot O. Black, Les Raz, you know, seeing them do their thing kind of re-inspired me. Yeah. To, to 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 not slack, to not feel sorry for myself as well, to just get back in the zone, you know, and tap mm. in. And yeah, I'm I was I was very happy that I went through that because it it my perspective on life as well kind of changed. Yeah. You know, so yeah, man, it changed me for the better, but I just lost cars, that's all. <laughs> so it was just the expense, right? Yeah, it was just the I expense, mean it's better yeah. that, right? Than yeah, than, than me, than, man. Than you because you yeah. still got more to give us, right? Straight Shit. Up, straight and up. since we're talking about that, you know, it's that favorite time, you know, my favorite time, you know, the bars time, oh, you know, snap. the nickels, you know, this is where it's going down. So right now we're gonna go with the first beat. Mark, you know what to do for me. Hit me with the beat uh Envey. Uh, the first one not doesn't have one. Yeah, envy. Yeah, All let's right. get it. No, let's begins. get it. Uh. Let's go. Sounds beautiful, man. Bring the mic a little uh. closer. Come All right. Uh. Black. Burn. Uh, yo, this ain't no party, find me next to an Uzi like I'm Playboy Cardi This ain't no shawty, this a big thing, you listen to that thing sing, huh? Nigga, this the Ken Pin, Don Chip, see me pulling up with a three-peat I've been street and you already know, I spit heat, I sit deep and listen to you trash talk Catch a nosebleed and I ain't even talking about a cheap seat I'm talking Big Papa with the moolah 
Uh, I'm talking big chopper with the Ruger Drastic measures when that shit popping <laughs> And I ain't talking Dave Balsha with a ruler Nah, but shout out to the big homie He told me let them ride but then not when they trip on me Niggas here be talking about copping the big rollie You should learn to pull the sock on it poppy like Mick Foley mm. ah. Look, I'm on some other madness But now you boys can change your mama address Got yes the rest niggas and I call them people vatos I deal with more essays than grammar classes You know me, I've been that OG, 03 Mercedes I be riding Places I reside in are so litty See I forgot that he can't relate but no biggie Shit I feel like Puffy in 98 In hindsight, I'm in the Uber and the car fresh mm. mm. Y'all better suit up for the process and knife fight But I bought a shooter to the contest 40 bucks different like a cougar with a large breast ga, 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 gotta respect him get these fuck boy niggas out of my section i bring the text in and if you testing then homie you're in trouble like a bladder infection uh, Woo! yeah yeah pta <laughs> cap city in the building it's five years litty baby you know you All know right. what we're doing out here yeah yeah we're gonna give us the we're gonna go to the second p right all right let's, go. let's ride marco give me the second one it's nv1 Like this beat, man. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Larry. Yeah. Feels good, don't it? Off the hook, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. Fresh off the accident. Let me do this for y'all. Listen. Compared to me, you are no star. Bitch, I go hard. The only nigga to jog a bonito on bars. You can bet on me. I'm the one that defeated most odds. Gang shit, look my niggas here ran shit Got the toolie on the hip, hit a lick Let the block see, feet are cold Soon as these niggas get on that hot seat They not me, me? I'm on some mafia shit That bad boy, Johnny Tapia shit Who harder than me? I mean I see you think your shit is cool Ill as who, listen to you rap That shit is pitiful, big as who Nigga check yourself, I mean you been a fool Think you deep, I think you as shallow As a kiddies pool, Ooh. I don't even need To go and knock on what you niggas do Gorilla set on any block You just pick a zoo, corner shop That's where you can find me for my niggas move And we just do what them niggas do Ra. Ah, yeah, yeah <laughs> Shout out, man We Thank you for coming through to Off the Hook The bars are sick For me, it's like you a punchline king in that say And you know, you a punchline king I think as you said, top two, whatever Yeah, 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 yeah most not, definitely you, you up there, son yeah, Straight up, shout out son. to PTA, you know what I mean? One love, and can fam. you just tell us where they can find you What, what they can look forward to And your, your, your social media handles Look, I got a project coming out. Uh, I'll announce the date and I'll announce the, the title soon. Um, but it should be September. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. I clear these samples because um, that's what's basically holding me back. Um, social media handles at NVEIGH on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. I'm on there. And you can also check out my YouTube channel, NV. Holla at me, scream at me when you see me, show me some love, give me hugs. Let's do this, man. One love. Shout out, you know, Please. off the hook. Just hit us with off the hook drop. Off the hook, shout out. That's my dude, Loazi. Keep it real, keep it locked. Let's go. What is boom? Danko, danko, king. Hey, Tada, yo, yo. It's off the hook. You know what I mean? This is the fourth episode. You know, see, I'm Temba. She likes a winner. This is my son, Tamaku Iti. What's up, Tamaku Iti? What's up? What's up? My name is Tamaku. Iti, this is off the hook. Iti, we got Muriel. Okay, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lisa. Yeah, yeah. All sure. the way from Durban. All the way from Durban. How how was your trip coming here? Yeah, I took um it was a nice trip. Fits your box who I want me to buy and giza and I think I think it was the two shows by the way, yeah. So yeah, be we nice trip. So I and give I get to talk about Muhamba trying to make friends about in Chile and Yabo. So be we crane talk. And then uh uh, what happened? What happened when you are coming from the bed center, and then yeah. uh, you guys got run off the road? Um, uh, when was it? Uh, last year, you you speaking about the. Then you the got run off the road. Bensuga, 
At Benyagi, Pangas Benyagi, but you got run off the road. Ben, you were from Bed Center. Yeah, we went there in the wrong that day, you know. Mm. I was so frustrated in Gentle, I would seem to perform, you know. Mm. When there was something about what to sound, you know, while I'm on stage, you know. And then we were we were driving home, back home, you know? Yes. Samba and Machita, and then on our way home, and then we have a small Anyana accident, you know? mm. So, and then Adimala Machita, and I'm Adimala, and I'm going to the corner, you know, in Kuzu, you know? So, what about the crane? Yeah, what about the crane? So, I was to pick up. Uh, yeah, Saba writes in Jay. But Saba shocked because Quaka Texander went again to MVP Center, you know, my set and he played down. I was watching she sound, and then all of the sudden, on our way home, so when they got the day, so the last two, Jay, that the plume would talk, but now I could see a pida and as the madam could. I enjoyed a little Marco. And then, uh, what is there or is there is the beef between you? You, Uzagwe, K Master, no Duncan. <laughs> no, there's no beef, Fitz. There's no beef. Got a whining yeah. a span in Onke. No, it's just that it's a special Magule industry. You know, Kuba Kona, Uman Pila Namachita, or Nispana Namachita, Kuba Kuba Konunga Bonga Sodinia, you know. Okay. So, go Ilezos in danger, you know. So, si Aspana Namachita, si Crandy, I get connected beef no munya because. Ma koninte it is ends a gide a be wrong. So we are kulumuza, we are for ne dang chedu tem fetu. I'm so good squenze ganji 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 ganji. Nam in gong jama when they something eganja. I'm so good squenze ganji. But young gaspani sani I don't know, cause I've got Hispani and forty three ten my latest offer. A yok cleaning keep it on twenty. 20 uh, produced by K Master. Sure, yeah, yeah, K yeah, Master yeah, is yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, K Duncan is there. We project Yabo Saspana and I. So, uh, uh, I don't think there is a beef, you know. Yeah. There's no beef between me, K Master, Zagwe, and Duncan. There is no beef. It's just that the Ugu Spansen and Ugu took seven Zisana. We go be konunga bon ga sodin, so we don't go play the dog. Ah, he's on the first one. I was telling Ale, Ale number one, Gane, who side, who side N, side N. Yeah. Keep on the track. Who could bang on? Who on Gane da? The track is deep. You know, um, I think who Zawe not and can bend the joint album. You know, and then yes. Babega ma side A, but who side D, no side Z. Yes. Babega ma side A, we would see why benga spananga and spades who go in Zagalani. So ungane. Was what keep an eye track side and I has this side that would see much it. This what's happened, yeah. Bo, uh, bang a little in a cabin and a fissa. So, yeah, talk, yeah. Sure, and again, this we can judge it joint because, yeah, I must say, it won't get so well. You know, and then he, eh, Tanyane, what happened? Bufuna and Tanyane, when's the girl? Yo, talk, eh, that's that's <laughs> that's some stuff, yeah. Bo, um, what's happened? Um, my dad went to Ben a gun shop. Mm. And uh, training him as security and a uh, businessman, and then was what show on Abo. Actually, in work, I had to uklala emzin or basically go on to Baba and go cut. So, he told all these things, they knew there's there was guns there, there was Abo, he pamming who named Tamvu, and then Basabang Pimper, my police said, No, it's don't find out, I promise, nay, pamming, Gaga, and then none. So, my police came through and took me with with all the uh, firearms and then gabo shoganjan while i'm in prison and then they trying to to see if the the the, the they belong to me but babon would cause the time yeah, yeah. babon say it's a is a time as onke and the zonke is clean mm. you know my my told my police sticks is the ganjan oh then but keep yeah i'm keep i and they talk yeah experience being john quick um be right if it's experience i'm from come on gang long service i want to get to be very jelly jelly as a bigger party for me, gang clean my cheat, my friends, you know, about fit up a bangazi, once in fear, so I'm married to what I saw bang chair with the lamp, when they are and jay, when they are and jay, when they are and jay, when they are and then Satan and my cheat, Yabo, Kabaran Jar and Chipet, so I'm too mezanga, banga go in jail, pet out, Guangnale of feeling with each Muntubo she, you know, so. But I was cheating my cheat and fits a sickas. Ah, easo, easo, easo. Dallas Puma go to Pelatina, so we to buy the car off the hook. Yeah. You actually, he's the first artist, right, from a tuba performing in off the hook. 
to be the first one on the podcast on Off mm. the Hook. Yeah. <laughs> and off, the off the Hook is Suagute now. Dog. It's Suagute now. It's from the cool, cool runnings at yeah, Dubai, dude, and, from, where uh, we met so Larry, hey, you know, some, so... Yeah, yeah. So I hope to look me me get cool. My at me really at the gang. We should movie Cape Town. Sure. I'll be there. You so. know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Uh, we're going to that time. I'm born in those are corner. Let's just go in. So I want to manage. I'm a speed. I'm a shafuna. I'm born in a little bit better. Yeah, shafuna straight. Mark, can you hit us with the beat that I sent you yesterday? It's uh, just a jam. I sent you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Ah, we knew, so we knew, so we Take it up a little bit of volume, Mark. Yes. Hey. Watch it. Off the hook, off the hook, off the hook, off the hook, off the hook. What up? Aish. Mlisa we kikawa. Sure. Mtin togus milena. Mtin togus milena. Gege. Aish. Mtin togus milena. Aish. Sinto gus milela, sure. Exe. Sinto gus milela, la inanda ngachalo ngatu. Mimbewe ya kum, yone ya skala noksu. Kala goku, batu mere lukanya goku, ukula goku. Umli sawe kika bune kum. Mkopi saka tenu zishi pepa pugu futumli. Umli sawe kika buse sodi agusi guba no shi. Gaga pelu tigin kundi chulem jengomli. Umbete la makama wistoro. Hey, la welu mfula iso. Kota mange kifiso. Umzimbu ya tu be zintu ngi kata zintu zio. Mange kifiso isho. Jano kregi misho Nkelele stigi ni kato kuli swale sifo Mbongi nga izingela nglandelo ay busole mpisi Isi tangya sungeli nki zoya mikalubisi Aksizi banega la imko kitoli kinti Imiti gumsi mbisi no kalo chablisi kwinti siti Yiti esloma stundi miti Amante sita siya wanchoncha ngale pizza ngiti Siti yiti esloma stundi miti Amante sita siya wanchoncha ngale pizza ngiti Ngoba ni mini kawe Gipo kolo ngoba ngelusa Gawina nga luza Gala nga fuwa nga fasha nga tuma Katula kakuda, katula kafunda kafunga kafuma Katala nga kuma, katasa le maika kila le mkuba Imini kawe, jipo kono nkoba nge lusa Ngawina nga lusa, katala nga fuwa nga fasha nga tuma Katula kakuda, katula kafunda kafunga kafuma Katala nga kuma Then, umblisa we giga bangi zang kufa ngundi zaba. Ntsushu ga gonda nga geke bang hamba nendoana. Ntanga ya mashinga shabu nkosi ngogo shisa. Kape kono njengo nwabu mpetu pifi ngogo tisa. Gife figa nespepes na manja sabi gayo. Izule nsha umbani kungri shaspe kono fayo. Siba sempo pomes ngugi banta nendo gomo lelet putbe zango miyova. Ksukse li mpaga neskova. Nkashula nkichi mangi segelo jenge ntiga. Mfiga ngi zangi anglinga kutu skrikse ntiswa. Punge gi skoke lag na mato tanzi mangpiga ngbe ngkigi. Zang busy di wan crash yung magshot ang gebiga. Chulang ring ang din ang siga kipun tap tap pinta. Show me ziba di ang di ang pesto drink ang zinta. Bati si pa si di si pa figa crash kung zimba. Kondi show bang buti ko bang travel kung kakota. Kaila madaga ng kadaga ng sugo dami. Skip na makiza ng sugo na may minbe bate. Tato kinin si tuzegi chenek kabate. Bati kiti kumin si pimpili lengele kodi ni. Kalu zimbu benda ng geba suwa gute. Gazu zmukhele suwa dala guzegube. Namshanti namanjeng loku. Zinza njenge mpande Genzi silo se gubo Peli mumo funyi hubo Pabu si fuba figi buto ka satani Magzamu lingo nyama tetu balansi simbengi Kashugi kuta figi buto la gas hoko Makwaf mulinke njani kitumi zulu bongi vene Sba konfela nge mishe makancha kancha Siti kampu kukikanku kuswa galu msinde owe spamu Bele se lingata figi ntuk zo pupu mshaba So ze wai banda ganya nalel kembe tolu shanya Tsushu ranga senta kukipe shushu shuluza Punyu gebe nkakile nkoti nweba nkutuluza Give me all your sun and tell it you want to sum up and galan do lang sack at you linga kiva and get katula. In this one go pele and get no boots in jenge tango. In this one go kiti man his own pen better list tango. Shinchis paga paga si be class and jenge tango. Unko lang shon and do list zulu kung kan gena mafu. Asango we ba linga ko kufa pele mas. Mahaba ne kika ba na le mishe kini diu. Shubega do lim tango wa man konya ne ne kabi man kubega vugin kani do the beating a katal. Don't sit down bob up si be vugin kanda kumis give. Unkabi ne give me. Show me quick and windy. Call a mulu from Bancunel and Jango Mutra. Put to Bezis put a shog on me to ten a lunga. Come make a babu zama pesu doing cash. Fogo mali tep and get cum sell and hang his name off the hook. Calling to empty shrunk and well at Julugu non pemp. Vogin venge pass the sentence naman sense. Calling to ebang your gadang your crema on your shreba. Figgis pep on your cap and your gang of your fish ever. Julepes go round on the waku buy a safe. Who be a name from gang at singer pita from ever. Reset your microphone gets you with Julugis. Reset your microphone gets you with Julugis. Yeah, yeah. Reset your microphone gets you with Julugis. Sure. Reset your microphone gets you with Julugis. Yeah, yeah. Julugis.
Yeah, Mirel in the you building. Know what to do, uh, yeah, yeah, Mark. Can you hit us with the um, next one? Uh, let me just let me just find it. Let me just find it. Let me just find it. Uh, it's Mirel. It's written Mirel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Mirel as M E R E R. That's Mizuzu. Mirel. Yo, yes. Chigi, chigi, chigi. Huh. By the way, this is uh, Isingi. I'm in the Kipela square. You know? Yeah, I call it Chigi. 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 Hey, me na gi den to be ti my din ni we si sudam kiki zaba fazi lo no kri khila shi sudam spilling pila spani spilling pila zwani spilling pilo ye pepa ne pe na zali buga strui var den tong soya nsang fungu chese lenge spigili baso si ya zen zang pe di ke sing pele sti di din ngopi tu alange vu pa pe 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 tola in nshum zimbu vevang pake din pimpi pele ma in hi man hi man ya zinang dan na we ngali rap un tebi map Fali get name gone. Hi man, hi man. Ya zin ang fan na we we nu tugi dep got the gang the cat a name gone. Gibonu fili fili glass is kung gas twelu fili. Ben gege gai kili go bi skili singa ko en zunga fili. Gibonu singi lili deli pungen gena pili. Ben gege nga chigi go bi chigi len sa jet min. Chigi 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 chigi
I go by the name of Ebenezer let out of and my Shatia Kuma and Kilema show or about Shaka and Mahomelomoto, but I are from Homolomoto. I'm sorry, ancestors. Gara Homolomoto, Palamang Palam Tatajo, Gara Homo, Kimala thing. That's me. Yes, 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 sir. Can you tell us where are you from originally? All right, so my f- my father finds his roots in Khraskop, but um, a lot of my family is finds its roots, I mean, its space in mm. Pushpak Ridge and the White. So like, nah, Khraskop's too nice for y'all. Um, so Pushpak Ridge is where you find a lot of the Tibakwanis. My mother's from Rampakele, Siliteng, right. in Limpopo. And how did you start comedy? Oh, dude, I used to try to be funny my entire life, bro. My entire life, I've been forcing. Like, I remember my first memory, my first ac- active memory of me trying to be funny I've, um, was me. Like, I couldn't read like, when I was five years old. But uh, like me taking the Bible upside down yeah. and making up like verses and just reading and being like, oh, let's read from the book of Moses chapter. And they're laughing because the Bible's upside down. I'm like, I'm not the idiot. You, yeah. I'm yeah. tricking you. Yeah. Like, I did this for your own sake. All right. Yeah. It's, am I too loud? No. No, I, I think I need to hear it clearer. Yeah, I, I, I got you. So, did you did you see that? Was that your career choice? This is what you wanted to do, or did you stumble upon? So then, my second now formid, um, formative memory was when I was watching The Mask. That's or if anything by Jim Carrey, really. And um, I thought I was gonna be a comedic actor, like for the most part. And then I saw Chris Rock. Mm. So like, it's literally me just trying to be a clown, and then me wanting to be a comedic actor. I'm mm-hmm. gonna do like some funny ish. I will have to swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, then after that, dog, I uh, saw Chris Rock and I was like, no, I'd like to be able to have poise and charm and swag and yeah. still, you know, make people yeah. laugh, get the same result. Yeah. And then who do you go with, Jim Carrey or Martin Lawrence? <laughs> An impossible question to answer. Jim Carrey, like, uh, there's not a lot of, like, stand-up of his that you can watch. But for me, in terms of the alternative work that he used to do, I, I would enjoy more of Jim Carrey's stuff. But he stopped doing stand-up very early in his career. Mm. Martin Lawrence, as well, once started the movies, Martin Lawrence wasn't, like, a stand-up. Like, his specials went great. He was just a great host. So mm. let's just say, so I'm safe if comedians watch this. If it comes down to the bone and you're, like, at a comedy show, who would you invite at your comedy show? I would invite Martin Lawrence, but to host the show. All right, that's, that's pretty much yeah. a good que- uh, but a good answer. So how did it all start off in Joburg? Now you're in the scene. Now you're like, hey, I've arrived. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Now I got to, I got to UJ, I used to be at UJ. Um, and then I, I, uh, I'd been emailing for months. Like, I remember I saw Impo Pops, and at that time I was like crazy about Impo Pops. You know, still think he's amazing. And, um, I saw him propose. My brother surprised me, picked me up. He took me to the box. I'm like, I wanna, I wanna, I mm. wanna do this shit. Mm. You know, I was 19. So I start emailing because I know I'm going to you. I start emailing, 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 emailing. They respond to me in May. So f- from 29, from 2013 to May 2014, I finally get a, a, a spot. Five minutes, and yo man, fuck you man. Hit it. You had it going. Carissa Ledera was there, my nigga. You can guess I was there that night, my nigga. Oh. Man, it was mad. And, and do you think, uh, in terms of, because I've heard a couple of things you've said, do you think like um, the South African crowd resonates with your comedy, your, your, your sketches, and do you think an international audience would, would, would understand them more? Um, uh, you know, like, uh, it's a very controversial question, but let me answer you like this, right? I, I do perform a lot of my comedy in English. Not that we don't understand English. I think just as a nation, we've come very conscious about ourselves and that we get tired of hearing art expressed in our colonizer's tongue. Am mm-hmm. I making sense? So wait, I, let me just exp- let me express it like this. I went to Soweto at Ozone one Wednesday back in the day. It was my first time there. And I get there, and I was, I was with Rukan Kesa. And Jay Book is like, yo, dog, I hope he's funny. And Rukan's like, this nigga funny. And Jay Boogie like rips for like a good thirty minutes, bruh. Because Jay Boogie like is known. He's like he can he can go on for like he's like basically like our oh, Dave Chappelle in terms of his ability he can go on for like years and like just riff and talk mm-hmm. and kill. Anyway, he calls me on. I come over there. I'm like, good evening. My name is Ebenezer Dewa. Fuck that! Fuck that! That's in the evening. Start Jay Boogie. What's up, Nyana? That's in the school way. And I try to follow through. 
<laughs> that shit is so angry, dog. Like, dude, what the yeah. fuck are you doing? So, yeah, man, I would imagine, you know, I would imagine, but my subject, man, a lot of it is South African based. Yeah. Um, and I do imagine myself with one more, two more guy, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And yeah, you know, I think, um, yeah, dog, you're asking controversial questions, but, <laughs> but um, yeah, dog, I think um, we just, um, we're just ready to stop pretending, you know, yes. as, a, as a people, yes. generally. And yeah, I can't have any qualms with that, you know. Yes. Um, they are my people still. And when, like, when did you fall in love with your hair? Like, uh, appreciating it? Like, nah, you sticking with me, son. You ain't going nowhere, done. Oh, shit. It's actually crazy because initially it wasn't a black conscious thing. It was Initially it was a thing of us preaching. I used to be an evangelist. I used to preach the gospel of Christ. Mm. And people always ask me, like, yo, dog, what, what happened? You used to, pre- used to be a Christian. Well, you're not a, a, a prophet. Oh, dude, the major I'm, one. Like, n- <laughs> niggas, I came to Joburg, bro. And sin is nice, see me? Someone <laughs> so not solo. Someone some nandi. I'm joking. Nah, nah, and then, um, um, yeah, so I, I grew also, I don't, tr- I don't become vain because I was a very vain person and I was yeah. very focused on what I look like. Mm. And so I was trying to be like more self So I, I initially, basically, I was trying to basically be ugly. But then after a year passed and I saw the hair, I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is... This is the shit. This is mm. exactly what I want to look like yeah. and represent. And that actually aided my black consciousness, which I had been building throughout that's my dope. upcoming. Yeah. That's dope, man. Can you hit us with a few sketches? Mm. Hit us with a few sketches <laughs> for the people, for the giggles. Get your weed ready. You want a joke? Yes, sir. All right, cool. But, uh, to be honest with you, Doug, uh, okay. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> this is very awkward. I'm on. I'm looking at you guys at the back as well for reactions because it's very awkward to try and talk to one person. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. But I think like it's very difficult for me to to really uh, do jokes. You know, because like I'm, I'm I'm a very sad. I'm very de- I'm a very depressed person. Like I'm a very sad person, bro. And like I've got. You don't dr- look sad, man. You look happy, right now. <sighs> bro. I'm acting. <laughs> I think it's like you know, bro. Listen, dog, I'm, you know you've got problems when you go to your therapist, ne? tell your therapist your problems. And your therapist is like, ah, and then, who hang away, and I says, shit, have you tried suicide? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. And I feel that that too. You know what I'm mm. trying to say? Like, it's really hectic, dog. <laughs> like, dog, and no one cares in South Africa. In South Africa, your niggas don't care. No one cares. Because, mm. like, someone will ask you, Ebenezer, how are you doing? And I'm like, no, dog, I'm sad, I'm depressed, I'm, I'm so, I'm, I don't want to live. Like, like I'm not, I don't want to be here. South Africans will be like, mm. um. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> other than death, you know that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> what's the problem? What's going on, bro? Otherwise, we don't have a real way of dealing with our problems. It's you know, nice of it. so that's why now <laughs> the most ironic thing about me, I don't know how to swim, ne? But I'm a demon, I'm dog. My demons, Olympic grade. No matter how much I try to drown them, but it's a tenor boy. Call easy pool. It's backstrokes, <laughs> backstrokes, ah, breaststrokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dog. That is that is crazy. Yeah, man. man. Now, nah, man, uh, <laughs> uh, it's so dope having you here uh, at off the hook, and mm. uh, this is like a platform as growth and just creativity and. Uh, the things you're doing, appreciate what you're doing, the work you're doing in the in the comedic space, mm. and also in the in the acting scene. You mm. know what I mean. Mm. And can you tell us is uh, what's currently you working on? Where can they find you? Where can the people find you? Oh yeah, yeah, well, well, I do. I've got um, I've got a film on Netflix. Uh, it's called Emoyeni. Um, the episode is in Tomiangale. I worked with Tisho Zikubum Kulu, Manisanduna. Um. Yo, man, just like really beautiful people. Yes. Um, I've got uh, an episode, if you're interested, of Family Feud with Steve Harvey and other comedians. It's somewhere there on Netflix as well. And then on, on um, my most proud work, I'd, I'd say, is um, if you go to my, on YouTube, if you check TEDx, Ebenezer Debakwani, excuse me, um, you guys can find some cool stuff there. Um, other than that, I uh, um Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I had some beer. Um, so other than that, like, um, yeah, there's uh, Family, stand-up shows? Father's Matter, Father's Matter. Mm-hmm. There's a, a movie, Hotlines is back with another movie series. Yes. I, I, I'm a lead in that. It's dropping in September. I've got my one-man show. Um, one I haven't man named show, it baby. yet. On the 14th of September at Funk Bar um, yeah, in Bryanston. Yeah, man. Um, 
Hey, dog, other than that, come and meet me personally, bro. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, the world is in a weird space, bro. You know? Yeah. And it's okay not to be okay. Um, you just got to find our way out. Yeah, we will be there on the 14th, yo. Get your tickets. Yo, support. Let's, let's be there, you know what I mean? And let's check out the shows that he's on. Uh, we, appreciate, we appreciate having you here, man. And we're still going to have you, you know what I mean? All right, bro. Uh, much appreciation, fam. Thank you very much. All right, my king. Off the hooks. Right. Salute. Off the hook with Luaz, the master of ceremonies. <laughs> <laughs> Been hot in here, off the hook, baby. Episode, yeah. episode four. September, September. I got a B boy in the building, an MC. You know what I mean? A bassist, and I got you know, yo, the lyricist, man, the dopest, the most, man, the magician himself is out here, the traveling man. <laughs> you know what I mean? What up, Shorty Skills? Yo, yo, yo. What up, Blasi? What up, Jimmy? Yeah, Jimmy the last born. Uh, it's that time, you know what I mean? I'm going to just let Jimmy introduce himself. Yeah, yeah, who, who you is, bro, and what Yo, you do? The name is Jimmy last born, uh, or Jiggy Jimmy, uh, Jiggy Jimmy Jam, or uh, Skinny Jim Rat, <laughs> or uh, MC Don't Be Scared. <laughs> yeah. I'm just here to have fun, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's all about the fun. And uh, the B-Boy, are you in a B-Boy? Uh, yeah, band? I'm a B-Boy, I'm a B-Boy, I'm a bassist in, in two bands, Headmistress and the Focolodi. Right. Yeah. Mm. And where do they check your B-Boy, son? Um, uh, I've just mainly, I'm, I'm mainly just been doing crew, uh, crew stuff. I okay. haven't really been on the battle scene, but um, I've only battled a couple of times this side. I'm, I'm basically getting back into the B-Boy now. All right, that's yeah, dope. Yeah, Lovely, yeah. man. Uh, yo, Mark, can you hit us with the uh, payola? The beat payola. My man's gonna rip that apart to shreds. Let's see what I got for you. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. Yeah. Yo. What is this? Yo. What is this flow? What is this beat you're banging? Yo. Jimmy Lost Born, he got the heavens jamming. Yo. Jimmy Lost the beat your banging, bro. Yo, Jimmy Lost Born, he got the heavens. Check it. Are you familiar with the skills that I'm displaying? My message is louder than Karen complaining. Your rhymes aren't bad, but the attention isn't worth paying. I'm just playing. I'm like a dishonest blind person. I see what you're saying. I better beat them break before bombarding bitches by dislocating shoulder blades to put them seeds in file. Lately, my malicious methods may be mad, but I must maintain this vicious mental mental state and sense of mind yes it's discreet your defeat is like sex under the bleachers you're soft like overripe peaches am i evil over this beat yes yo get these hands get yeah. these bars this dead beat smart this dead beat parts right. the flesh and heart then licks them wounds and slits them scars i got it on lock like empty cars don't yeah. tempt me brah i'll break your jaw then make you talk then eat them cords come before the storm just as hard as porn Toke the blunt to be the sharpest thorn yo what is this flow Beat your banging. Jimmy lost born, he got the heavens jamming. I said, What is this flow? What is this beat you're banging? Bangin'. Yo, Jimmy lost born, he got the heavens jamming. That's what? what I do. I, I'm, 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 I'm sick through and through. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. Take it over, man. That was yeah, the rhyme. Yeah, so. yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. You would as born. Uh, <laughs> shout out, shout out, Shorty Skills. Yeah. Uh, shout out, Jimmy. That, that's shout that's out, amazing, out, man. man. Your bars are your bars are on steroids, <laughs> son. Uh, any project coming up soon? Um, uh, there's mainly projects with the band, man. Like, um, check out Hit Mistress. We already got stuff out. Yeah, uh, we're on SoundCloud, basically all major streaming platforms. Um, the Foco Lodi socials, L E F O. You know what? The Foco Lodi. Sound it out. That's dope, man. <laughs> uh, Shorty Skills. Yo, what up? Um, can you just uh, tell us about the current project in a... Okay, quick, quick. Yeah, uh, we got an, a project, myself and uh, Kanif. Uh, it's called The Witchcraft Books, Volume 1. You can check it out on all uh, streaming platforms, and you can buy that shit on Bandcamp, yeah. Yeah, that's Shorty Skills for you. And uh, where can people find you? Uh, yeah, man, it's Shorty Skills everywhere on the social media, whatever, and yeah. And uh, I check you got this for yeah, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got this is my debut uh, release called Spirit Scream before we release this uh, current project. Yeah, if you hit me up, you can find me on the platforms, and uh, yeah. 
get it directly it from, from the brother. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're so excited to have you here. <laughs> and you know, a stat rush hour, the yeah. bars. I mean, you here for that, right? Uh -huh. And I want some of that. I think that will talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And we're still going to have the brother here. We're introducing a segment where we have MCs and we just try to balance, have interviews and... and um, and, and and bars and, and yeah. this is the bars and we got show these skills right here yeah. we're still gonna chill with him this is just the beginning y'all we still this is like a long we ain't stopping this son this shit is gonna be in the archives in the capsule i'll be yo i'll be yeah. fucking in fucking under the soil and this shit maybe mm -hmm. my son will also be sitting on this chair yo <laughs> yeah. um Hit us, hit us with what you got for us, the yeah, no yeah, yeah. a cappella. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'll just do a little a cappella of the new work that I'm doing. Some sci-fi joints, you know, show the skills of the rocket ships represent for witchcraft or Apetus records. And I mean, I, this is called uh, the first contact, yeah. Crashing in meteoric fashion, flashing. Resplendent rays of color into the night forming patterns of kilometer white arcs in Twiswa, smashing the sonic barrier at speeds that could break your neck. Too swift for the mind to follow, followed by a gush of wind, hollow echoes or else a creepy hush. No decelerating, no slowing down, just breaking, hence the eyes tracing it. Keep moving across a quarter of the sky before the brain can arrest its motion. Your frozen frame turns to atomic particles, this ship dopplers into subsonics. You're lost in space, abducted stars whiz past your eyes at the same rate as a memory of old wife stories of tall beings in floating laboratories, homing in on men roaming alone in the open, performing lobotomies. Out of body, all hope sinks as you notice that either than the men not being tall, small, nor green, that in reality it's the same old story. Intubated, out of every orifice like babies born in premature sleep were incubated, semi-comatose, in a stasis, unit hibernating, yet changing vectors at a rate so complicated that the mind can contemplate the constant waking to strange constellations every time that you faint and oscillate between a sleeping dream state and navigating deep space, escapes feeling lighter and lighter and lighter, eyes wide with surprise. Glazed with tears, hazed with fear, from facing a waking nightmare get wider. Your lips want to move, they twist trying to speak. But the thoughts are like screams in a vacuum, lost in a dream, weaved by machine. Like a web or a thread in a loom of space sick like when a godlike computer voice booms into implanted auditory centers. This is no ordinary centers. You're in a planet. We are at a turning point in galactic history, and you in orbit, and you, our guest in orbit of a planet sized laboratory, are about a 10,000th of a 10,000 strong variable species cargo. For too many a century have you been left on your own. I lost it. Our loss. Uh, all right, I think I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. What is that. poor man? That was, that was fire, dog. Shit. All right, I think I'll yeah. come back. Uh, it goes uh, into implanted auditory centers. This is no ordinary census. We're at a turning point in galactic history. And you, our guests inside of a planet sized laboratory, are about a 10,000th of a 10,000 strong variable species cargo. For too many a century have you been left on your own, our lost colonies into black deck ages through. While we have been nothing but questions, had to step from the void and now let ourselves be known with minimal threat display. So Excuse the abduction, you've been prepared a long time through subliminal thoughts implanting for the human amongst you through movies and television and your phone nuts which you probably ignored. Ooh. Excuse us for the nightmare in cluster and the frigid environment in a transport pod. It is our privilege at this point to usher our new citizens into the more hospitable lander craft. Try not to get lost amidst the profusion of data as all our descendants are scientists and born explorers that besides from being akin to each other are 
Ah, I just leave it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat. Okay, time, let me sorry. just hit that beat before we dip <laughs> out of here. Uh, yo, 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 Mark, can you hit me with the beat that's written shorty skills. Get your hoodie on, man. Yeah. I couldn't decrease the tempo, man. I tried. Ah, it's cool. Let me try this. Yo, 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 yo. The shorty skills, the black magician. Check it out. Yeah, the shorty skills, the black magician. Hello. Yeah. I paint a white sheet, crimson Murderous ink, dagger thrust into the gut of the mainstream blood Rap necrophiliacs, x-ray cataracts, seen past your fear When you were ready to act predatory, cat reflexes, cap snake fangs Fallible, tail rails obsequious, and heads on a mantle On a mantle, when victory's all that's on the mantle Fast guy with a pun, so death says coincidental And cold-blooded, be my guest, I give them the red carpet treatment Outside settlement streets get flooded So vigilance is pertinent like maidens Please refrain from approaching that mansion Let's bring the killer vampire's romance back Since Dracula in comparison Held the quality in a band Ambience of a god of carnage Reincarnate of Kali So Cox cold top meets the tomb I bring anguish wolves Howling a crescent moon And owlish eyes can only ogle The presence is doom my rap precedes me, I kill raps easily Greasy bear, the mark of assassins like precedence Ambling ahead of their bodyguards, entourage Cause of ample arms, or else syntax Bodily harm, my thug, with a breathtaking hug So put your asthma pumps up, yeah, show these skills the black magician Check it out, second verse, let me just keep it going You know how it goes my DNA analysis Keep all neo scientific knowledge and concepts of existence Fabulous when introduced induced feelings are more than neuromuscular Or cardiovascular tensions and changes It's paralysis Undermine the status quo of your biocalculus Peerless on the list of things that shouldn't exist It's the sum of all fears and fine focus X-Files is exiled from mortality like Duncan McCloud To stand the test of time like the shot of Turin Must I will pass paternity test for Noah's Ark Marines Carbon date my beginning To eons before for the great flood, I've got that real fantastic fangs, the archetype of Wolverine. Unseen a day walker with spy escapers. Uh, Cause an unsuspecting victim makes a foul name of a shy neighbor. Left as pale as morticians. Cause the only way I'll ever suck is if it's not metaphorically speaking, extracting vitamins from underneath your skin. And from Stolen peanut glass melatonin Chosen by my own god complex To give the less wicked The less justice does the death The longest split second of this dead Tread intrepidly and rest in a coffin Like a cosmic intelligence Bent on voyeurism Hello, I'm sure these skills Do you know who I am? Woo! Shorty skills in the building, off the hook, Hello, baby. I'm shorty skills, do you know I am? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, peace to my man Loazi, peace to the off the hook. Thank you for putting me on. Word, you word. know the movement, hip hop never went nowhere. Yeah, it, all, it ain't going nowhere, it baby. Ain't going yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. We out signing out. Peace. Thank you. Peace. Shut up. It's a wrap. <laughs> all right, show, sure, man. If I tell a finish, so pin them zala si fuse mini, so kichi mi sikasi, so fusa na papazi, so kichi mi sikasi, e finale energy.